Welcome back. Welcome back to another recap video. Monday Night Raw. Well, it's on Wednesday. Yeah. We've been too. Bu we've been really busy, and schedules have been hectic. Yeah. But we finally got to do it. Yeah. So, um, Roman Reigns starts off Raw. He didn't even really get the talk because Shane McMahon comes out, and then Shane's just pretty much saying he's a. Um, he gets better by age. And he's just saying he's gonna beat him this Friday. Um. Ah, uh, it's just him. Uh, he's, um. McIntyre and all of them are just taunting, saying they're gonna. Be, uh, they're gonna enjoy watching Shane beat him up. And then Roman comes out. And then let's see. Yeah. All three of them gang up on Roman. And then Uso show up. Um, and then they. Sh they um, no, fight. No, 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 no. No, it was only Shane and Drew. Um, Drew was saying, um, he don't need he don't need his partners. We can do this now. And him and Shane are attacking. And what? Well, before they attacked, they walk into the ring, and the revival sneak attacked them. So now they're all attacking. This is better. So it's just Roman, uh, Roman and his cousins, the Usos, fighting Drew McIntyre in the revival. Yeah, ends up being that match. And the bad guys win. Yeah, he ends up um getting a claymore kick on on one of the Usos. So because Roman was out, he had Shane, and then kicked by Drew McIntyre. Roman's out. Then Boog and the Revival got the one Uso. They did a tag team out outside the ring on the one Uso, so the one Uso don't go in and help. And then Claymore kick. That's how it helps. Bubby, can I ask you something? What? How long has Drew McIntyre been back in WWE now? I don't remember. Because I don't really pay attention. Cause I don't like him. Yeah, well, let's see. He was supposed to be a big shot Probably before. Probably at least almost a year now. He's been, he was a big shot before, right? Well, he was, and then he went as 3 MB, and then he was out and back, so... Has he won any titles since he, his return? No, I don't think so. So basically, he's just another wasted opportunity that they're like, oh, let's just make him a henchman stuff. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like they're, they're wasting opportunities. And then there was Miss TV with Seth Rollins. Yeah, because the whole night they're saying, oh, Brock's cashing it in tonight. Brock's cashing it in tonight. That was all big letdown. Yep. We'll see. And then it went Lucha House Party, but it wasn't really a match. Because Lars Sullivan showed up. Because they were going for the match. Um, And then Lars Sullivan, he comes in the ring and he's attacking. They all actually drop kicked him out of the ring. And Lars Sullivan was pissed off. Yeah, because... Their matches, the, the, their matches for Friday. Yeah, three on one handicap. You know Sullivan's winning this. There's no way he's losing. This is gonna be like a good uh, his first uh, his uh, first pay per view match. He can't lose. Yeah. You just make him look stupid, and that means the whole time you're hyping him up, having him destroy everybody. He's pointless. Backstage. Iconics and Nikki Cross. They were just pretty much picking on Nikki Cross, whatever. Bliss shows up. And then Bliss shows up, and then Bliss is saying, I have you back, pretty much. People have been picking on her, whatever. She's just been, I don't know. Bliss is doing the same thing she's, she did to Dana Brooke as she did to uh, Nia Jax. She plays the friend card and all that. But, however, she can't do jack shit by herself, you, so she has to have some... You said Dana Brooke. You mean Mickey James? It was Dana Brooke, too! Don't lie! It was Dana oh. Brooke, too. Have you forgotten? Or has everybody forgot? Either way, she plays the friend card, but she's just using them for muscle because she can't do anything herself. She doesn't like to get her hands dirty. As we've seen in her matches... She'd rather drink her coffee on the sidelines and let everybody else fight uh, fight her battles. And watch, when she doesn't get her way, she casts them off after a few months. Yep. And then Becky Lynch is out. She just says there's no girl that can beat her. And then Lacey Evans 
comes out and she's like, I did you a favor, Becky, at Money in the Bank. And then Becky's just pretty much saying, um, why don't you just get in this ring and I'll just get your arm out of your socket. Then and, Charlotte shows and up. And then Lacey's like, oh, don't mess, you don't want to mess with me. Charlotte shows up. Yep. Strutting like a peacock again. Yep. And Charlotte comes out saying she she's going to end up beating her daddy's record being because she's already the nine-time champion. And then Lacey Evans saying, um... She picks a she picks a fight with her, so it ends up being a match. Yeah. So it's just, so it's Lacey versus Charlotte. Yep, ends up being Lacey Evans or Charlotte. But here's the thing: ends up being... we don't have an actual good winner because Becky decides to attack Charlotte, so Charlotte wins by disqualification. Yeah. And then she starts be and Becky starts beating up Lacey. Yeah. So that was that. And then, we go, what if we can be Rey Mysterio about him relinquishing the U.S. title? But what about our truth our truth doing the 24-hour thing and just running around trying oh, to date the, everybody? That was funny, because it showed a clip with our truth on the golf court, and he actually lost it to Jinder Mahal, but then he got it back, and then he quickly got on the golf cart with Carmel and left. Yeah. But now... Ray Mysterio has to relinquish his, t his um, title. Yep. And Samoa Joe comes out. Yeah, he wants it back. But Joe interrupts it because he's like, I never lost. My mat, my arms were on the mat. And he goes, I'm relinquishing the title because of my injury. But I'm relinquishing it to Samoa Joe. So Joe is back to be his champion again. And... He ends it and he's about to walk walk out and pick him. Joe Samoa starts Joe beating him up. Beats him up and puts him in the casino clutch. And walks out. I'm like, really? Because Ray said he's coming back. When he's done, he's going to come back. Oh, here we go. Here's another kind of ridiculous thing, but sort of meh. Braun and Bobby Lashley's arm wrestling match. Yeah, it was like they were going to get it and then. Bobby slaps Braun before it, and then Braun, Braun's getting pissed off. He's like, he 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 wants. And then they're then they're doing it, and then Bobby Lashley slips his hand out, and then they put their hands all chalked up, and then they finally finally get back and do it, and they're back and forth, back and forth, and then Braun got it, so Braun won the arm wrestle match. And of course, Lashley, he attacks him after. And then power slams Braun Strowman. Braun's winning this. Braun you Strowman's know for a fact Braun is stronger. He could have won that match easily, instantly. Or, better yet, Braun, could have tore Bobby Lashley's arms out of the socket. Braun did win the arm wrestle match. No, I'm saying Braun could easily win it. Yeah, we know. That was just playing around. Yeah. Braun could instantly. Or tear his arm. Uh, his you tarmac. could tell when they were going back and forth. Yeah, but he's the thing. Braun Strowman's like a Wookiee. And then it was um, a woman match. Nikki Cross with Alexa Bliss versus Peyton Royce. Yeah, Alexa's just sitting on the sidelines, just getting oh. ready her coffee, and then um. Nikki Cross ends up winning with a twist, like a twist neck breaker. But here's the thing. One of the iconics, I don't know wh who. Billy Kay. No one, no one cares, Bubby. <laughs> one of them kicks Bliss's coffee out of her hand, makes her spill on the floor, and then she falls off flat on her ass. And Nikki Cross didn't see, so she doesn't know what the hell happened. So Bliss start, uh, actually um, was it causes a distraction to one of the iconics, and that yeah. gives Nikki the upper hand to um, pin them. Yep. And then after that, then Bliss comes out and drop kicks the crap out of um out of them, and then they all stand tall yeah. against the Iconics. So yeah, wasn't what are you what are you gonna say? The new tag team is gonna be um, Twisted Sisters, because she's like the Twisted Bliss, and she is a Twisted Sister from the one she was with Insanity. Someone's gonna sue. You can't use that name. No, I'm Twisted just... Sisters a bad name. I, I'm just saying. Someone's gonna sue. Alright, let's go. Firefly Funhouse. What in the hell? 
exercise. <laughs> I don't know, cause but they actually did a good representation of Vince McMahon right there on the puppet. Yeah, that was funny. Then they had a pig. Oh my god, but that was probably supposed to be like for Husky Harris, his, his older character. Yeah. But that was, that was that man. And then Seth Rollins, okay, he's back out and he's just waiting, he's waiting for uh, Lesnar. Then of course Lesnar, he's playing my game, his music plays, but he doesn't come out. Corbin shows up. And Seth's like, I'm sick of this. And then he's just pretty much saying, I'm going to win, I'm going to win. Then Strowman actually shows Then Lesnar actually shows up, starts beating the crap out of Rollins, and he actually uses the chair, starts beating the crap out of Rollins, and then... And then oh, Heyman's like, Cash it down, cash, cash it down. And, then, and he goes, no. Friday. Friday. What? Friday, we promised everybody. Friday. So, Friday. But then we get to see Seth Rollins get... Uh, tucked away into the ambulance, and we see Becky Lynch's girlfriend in there with him. I f knew something was going to happen because they showed off that ambulance truck in the beginning, and then we figured, yeah, it's going to be used. If they're going to show off a truck, they're going to use it. All right, Cause Triple H now. Triple cause H Corbin, because Corbin is on Friday with the, for the title, and Seth Rollins is hurt, so you don't know. That's why he said Friday because just say Corbin. Wins. Corbin wins. Lesnar easily takes it. There you go. Bye bye title. You're back with your daddy. Now let now we go to the Triple H and Orton. They're just pretty much talking about. They're showing off their old rivalry. They're saying they're gonna fight much. each other, and then Orton returns saying, "Triple uh, Hunter, can you do me a favor? Can you get your balls out of out of, uh, out of um Stephanie's purse?" And he goes, and he goes, "Oh yeah, they're big. They're big and." I have to carry them around, but you didn't know anything because you don't have any balls. And that's how it ends. Yeah. Now for Ricochet and Cesaro. Yeah. No, seriously, why yeah. did they have that This is like third match with them because Cesaro wanted a match because Ricochet beat him last time. But Ricochet beats Cesaro again. And of course. And then Cesaro's all mad, so he's attacking Ricochet after the match. And then... <laughs> I'm sorry, he's pulling the table out from under the ring to use on Ricochet, and you see R Truth hiding on the table. <laughs> and it's just everyone's all going after him, and then Carmelo super, tick, super kicks Drake Maverick in the ring, because Drake's like, oh, found ya, found ya. And then he's running, they're all running up to Truth. Let me like, ask you this what happened to AOP? Yeah. I said that yesterday. What happened to AOP? Where are they? Yeah. I'll say this. Undertaker shows up. And it's only five minutes left. He's just pretty much just said he's He's gonna... saying, Goldberg, uh, Goldberg, don't bring the, the family man Goldberg in the ring. I want he's... the ass kicking Goldberg. And he goes, you're next. And then, and he goes, that's he's it. He's going to unleash hell. <laughs> yeah. That, that's pretty much it. It ended literally like that. After he said, you're next, boom, ended. That was literally five minutes of Undertaker. It takes him like at least two, three minutes to get into the ring. <laughs> but, yeah. That's pretty much it. So, what do you, you thought of Monday Night Raw? Did meh. you like it? It was meh. So, um, yeah. Make sure you like. Comment. Subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.